Hey guys, how you doing? This is AC Ball Electrical and thank you for watching my videos. Welcome to my channel. Before we continue to the next section, please give us a like and share my videos and please subscribe down below for more videos, more instructional videos about air conditioning and electrical refrigeration, light plumbing and so much more. In this case, today, on this video, I'm gonna be showing you the basic tools to do electrical as an apprentice. If you're ready, uh, foreman, please forward this video and let the new people who are starting to do this, this trade continue watching the video. And please, like I say, give us a like, subscribe, and share the video. All right, so, to my understanding, to my understanding, anybody can do electrical. Yes, anybody can do electrical, but it's really dangerous. So I do not recommend doing any electrical if you don't know how to do it. Please hire an electrician, a professional licensed electrician or at least certified from the state. We're, we're uh, based in the state of California and from here we're showing you how to do basic electricity. So rule number one, is to know what you're doing electrical yes it's really important to know what you're doing if you know what you're doing now you want to continue learning the basics and the basic of any installation any repairs any new construction or construction is the basic is right here in this electrical code book i happen to have the most recent version which is the 2017 from the Fire Protection, National Fire Protection Agency. And this book has everything in it, everything that you have to know. Everything from boxes, from grounding, from transformers, from everything. So get you one of these. This is not gonna teach you, but it's gonna show you the right codes and how to do it and bring it up to code. All right, next. I'm gonna be showing you some of the tools that you're gonna be needing as a new apprentice. All right. First of all, you can get yourself some screws. Right. You have to have Phillips. You have to have flat, and then you have to have different, different uh, screws, ranges from one quarter all the one all the way to seven sixteenths. A basic knife. It doesn't have to be insulated, don't worry about it since you're not gonna be doing any troubleshooting yet. But get yourself some of these nice needle nose from Klein, all right? And I have these channel locks. These channel locks, you're gonna be needing them. These channel locks are from Nipex. These are really nice channel locks. They happen to have a sliding button right here you push it in and it slides and adjust and adjust to the grip that you want to use the second one is this ply right here this little one is from Klein as well note that this is different from the regular ones because he has a crimping tool section on this side so you can crimp all your <clears throat> butt splicers and on this side it has the different gauges for the for the wire that you can strip. Now, <coughs> pardon me, the second one that you have here is this beauty that everybody uses and I'm pretty sure you have used them before. <coughs> and this happened to be a Lyman's. Lyman's are really popular in, uh, in Mexico and in other places. Why really popular? Because most of the electricians, they only use a screw a screwdriver and one of these to do electrical you won't believe it but that's how that's what they use anyways the other one right here is a side cutter a side cutter again is from Klein <clears throat> now let's continue with the meters bolt meters this this tester right here happens to be a nice little tester it's under a hundred dollars from field piece with this guy you can test ohms kaunuri non-content voltage when you get near the voltage and you have 
AC and then direct current AC and voltage direct current this little guy is really easy to use no biggie note that these are digital digital voltmeters uh, testers there is some analog somewhere in there but I don't, I don't use those anymore I only use these digital ones and uh, right here I have a fluke this guy is really expensive if you're barely starting as an electrician please do not buy it buy the most cheap ones but reliable okay cheap but reliable not to have something really special like these this guy is around four hundred dollars three hundred dollars probably from ebay but still three hundred dollars is a lot of bucks to to get out of your bucket now the other one here i'm gonna be showing you is this guy right here it's a screw gun it has three combinations it has a combination for drill bits the other one is for screws and the third one here is a roto hammer so this means that this guy can do three things under screws you can adjust the torque so you won't push too much onto the screw and strip the head so the next ones are the bits make sure you have all, all types of bits that you're gonna be using for for the logs and a fillets bit really important now this other guy right here that I have obviously if you're a beginner you probably don't need it but if you do you want to invest into your career try to be saving some money so you can buy all these expensive tools but guess what later on your game is gonna pay it off all your money is gonna be coming back for all the investment that you did on buying nice tools this guy, this guy here is a, is a grinder and I happen to have this cut off disc to cut metal with you can use use it as a grinder or you you can use it as as grinding concrete as well but if you're an electrician you are gonna use this one to cut metal with tin wall or anything but it, really important try to wear your safety goggles all the time now I happen to have here some EMT two benders there is half inch three quarter one inch and one inch and a half I'm sorry one inch and a quarter all the way from half inch to one inch and a quarter no more than that if you want to use a bigger tubing you have to use uh, hydraulic tube bending for that but uh, for small applications this is where you can need it now don't forget that once you run tubing you have to pull wire into the tubing and I happen to have here a fish tape this is a fish tape that it has a measurement length right here already so that you know how long is the run gonna be you can use it to pull directly from here or you can use this to pull a bigger rope in there when you're pulling a bigger wire and it gets really heavy believe me it gets really heavy now the second another tool that I have here is this saw saw the saw saw it takes uh, it takes a blade in here different type of blades are for wood metal concrete some other you can use our pruning devices but a saw saw is really important for you but like I said if you're a beginner you're really starting to do electrical try to buy a, a, a used one don't buy a new one so you can at least learn how to use it all right get your hands on the tools and and get yourself into learning how to use all these tools these are really handy when it comes to doing electrical another one that I have here this nice little tool that I have here is from Milwaukee as well and this one happens to be a roto hammer this is especially only to drill holes into the concrete there is obviously bigger versions 
but this small version is really handy when you're hanging thin wall on concrete you're hanging on the top of the ceiling or you're you're running along the wall this is where you can end where you can end it so I show you I show you so far the most basic tools that you're gonna need and I can give you some of my personal advices you're gonna start doing electrical you wanna advance into this career I'm gonna give you my personal advice from me to you from AC Ball Electrical and from anybody who does electrical please do not use your cell phone on the job do not work when the power is on and using your cell phone at the same time like in this sample you're talking on the phone and you're trying to connect some wires with your left hand that's a no-no don't do it all right safety first as you can see i'm wearing my my goggles because i want to pass it on to you that wearing goggles is really important sometimes you you might probably be working with high wires right here and there is metal everywhere all right one of the wires might probably slip off of your hands and make contact with the other wire and it will create a big spark right onto your eyes and guess what you're gonna get burned on your eyes and there you go going to the emergency room it has happened to me once when I barely started it so please that's an advice from me safety first do not work when the electrical is live unless you have to do it sometimes you have to do it that way in order to find and troubleshoot but i'll leave it to an expert to an expert that has more gears into troubleshooting electrical but if you're an apprentice this is all where you're gonna need try to gain some knowledge right away and start doing electrical the right way don't be a hack don't be a hack don't be doing something that is off the books okay try to do the most possibly professional manner try to be clean it's neat try to work to wear your boots do not show up at the, at the job on flip-flops don't do that i know some people are really comfortable wearing their sandals flip-flops and shorts and everything doing electrical but here is your life your life is on the line do not do it okay so this is the basic tools for electrical apprentices okay apprentices like i said in the beginning if you're already a foreman please keep forward keep moving to the next video all right so this was ac ball electrical showing the basic tools and the basic knowledge that you have to gain from the book and from your safety personal safety all right so this guy right here is gonna show you how to pro protect you and protect the personal all right it's made to protect the codes it's made to protect the people that is living between the welling all right in the houses apartments everything custom houses is to protect from getting electrocuted in the place where they're living so anyways thank you for watching my video don't forget to give me thumbs up all right share my video and subscribe because i'm gonna be uploading new instructional videos every week thank you for being here and showing love this is acy electrical see you next time